Hello, my dear students, and welcome to this week overview. During this week, we will be talking about lesson 15.3, controlling air pollution. Major accomplishments of the Clean Air Act. Catalytic converters present in all cars since 1975 have reduced vehicles emissions. Lead has been phased out of gasoline. Industries and power plants have reduced releases of pollutants by using scrubbers, which remove or alter chemicals before they leave factory smokestacks. That to the ozone hole. Ozone is a pollutant in the troposphere, but in the troposphere, it creates a protective barrier against UV radiation. Chemicals called chlorofluorocarbons, which used to be found in everything from aerosol cans to refrigerators, have destroyed ozone, causing an ozone hole to form over Antarctica. An ozone hole allows more UV radiation to reach Earth's surface, potentially increasing case, cases of skin cancer. Moving to the recovery of the ozone layer. We have the Montreal Protocol is an international treaty signed in 1987 that has cut the chlorofluorocarbon production by 95% since the 80s. Ozone levels in the stratosphere have begun to stabilize and the ozone hole will likely start to disappear. To that, to chapter 16, which is the global climate change. Starting with lesson 16.1, our dynamic climate, which is the greenhouse effect, a natural process in which greenhouse gases absorb heat and release it back into the atmosphere. Greenhouse gases do not trap energy that has been converted to heat at Earth's surface. As you can see here from the figure, we have that sun energy reaches the Earth, Earth's surface is heated. Then some of the heat is radiated back into the space, and then we have some radiated heat is absorbed by greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. Then we have the effect of latitude. So we have here, less direct, most direct, and less direct as well. Latitude is a measure of a place distance from the equator. In general, the greater the latitude, the cooler location overall climate will be. The seasons are also caused by the changing angles at which sunlight strikes the earth. So we have here zero degree, which technically here is means the tropical areas. Then we have 23.5 north, 66.5 north. We have here the temperate, then we have 90 degrees north, we have the polars, and moving downwards, also we have 23.5 south in the temperate, and then we have 66.5 and 90 uh, um, south, also we have the polar. Then we have the wind that caused by convection currents resulting from rising warm air and falling cool air transports moisture and heat and global wind patterns move warm air away from the equator towards the poles and cold air moves from poles toward the equator and wind picks up moisture and can carry it for long distances until it falls as precipitation. We are going to talk about this and much more during this week.